this is great focusing wirelessly hello everyone welcome to the channel and in today's video we're going to unbox the moza ifocus unit and the hand unit itself so the reason i have bought both of these because i want to uh, control my focus wirelessly so that um, i can put uh, this focus unit on my camera and i can uh, pull the focus wirelessly with the uh, hand unit now let's unbox the wireless follow focus unit itself first it's a nice packaging by the way Um, it has come with a nice form inside uh, what is this it's a manual for the follow focus unit here I have a let's uh, put this aside so this is what came uh, with the follow focus unit now this is the follow focus unit itself it has a antenna so it it receives a signal from the hand unit uh, there is a uh, connection so you can this is a 50 millimeter rod connection so you can uh, put this inside a 50 millimeter rod and tighten up here this is the wheel so don't uh, don't turn it with your hand because it's all motor operated now this is a gear so you can attach it with the photo lens so that you can use the follow focus unit with it here you have the connection cable you can uh, connect this one with the uh, follow focus unit one side and the other side will be going to the gimbal itself now one thing to mention here you can use this follow focus unit along with the moza ear 2 or moza ear whatever you want and here is a charging cable unfortunately they don't give any additional charger with it so you, can, you just can plug in with any charger you want and this is the c port now I'm unboxing the hand unit. It's kind of the same packaging. Here's the manual. And you have a charging cable with C port. You have the hand unit uh, itself. Uh, you have some button to switch it on or off. And this with this one you can attach this one with any uh, you know any fixture you want you can attach anything here so here it is this is your uh, two unit one is the follow focus unit itself and the handheld handheld unit now i will show you how we can connect both of this now first of all you have to uh, switch on the uh, hand unit here is the power button it has got a very nice display unit so where it shows two battery indicators and the follow focus marker now one battery is for the for the follow focus unit and one for the handle unit itself now you have started this handle unit now go to the menu by pressing the power button go to the wireless go to the pair button while it says pairing here is the power button of the follow focus unit you just press it long press it see it says pair okay now right of the bat it doesn't work after it doesn't work because uh, it, the wheel and the motor is not calibrated properly so what you have to do first you have to uh, go to the menu button again once more and again you have to go to the function and here you have two two uh, three functions one is the motor calibrate one is wheel calibrate one is brightness brightness is the for the for this uh, lcd display now let me show you how it works sorry see it got brighter now let's keep it okay now first of all you have to uh, calibrate the motor first because uh, you have been using this one with the uh, lens itself so you cannot uh, turn the lens at its uh, at its fullest because some photo lens they have uh, hard edges so you can you cannot do that fully because you may break that if you are using a cinema lens that's perfectly all right but for the photo lens you must uh, choose uh, the motor calibrate option first now go to the motor calibrate manual remote i am doing this with the remote op option remote unit manual remote press up turn to the starting position click right to confirm now if i if i uh, press the up button here see this motor is turning now wirelessly 
I have confirmed this position for example I press the right arrow key then press down to uh, turn the end of position click right to confirm so I'm down I'm pressing the down key and setting up the next uh, last position now let's say it's confirmed now so it will give a shake uh, and it's motor the motor is calibrated now let's go uh, for the wheel calibration go to the wheel turn to the starting position so i uh, i'm going to the very initial position then right click okay up to this this is the final position and it's done now you'll see i can operate this one with my hand unit wirelessly isn't it cool so that's all for today guys if you like this video please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel goodbye